love. Yes, that's how it all started, dancing. And I had always been a bit of a loner in high school. I had my friends and everything, but it wasn't like we would hang out. To this point, I would just stay at home writing, watching TV nonstop and wasting time on the internet. I had lost communication with my CDR friends, so se podía decir que tenía un vacío. And on that night in August 8, when we danced, I felt a spark. And I knew you were the one to fill that void. Sure, my poetria filmmaking and art were always there for me. But I needed a little something. And meeting you on that dance floor was the best thing that could have happened. Todo comenzó bailando como Frankie. But instead of salsa, we were dancing reggaeton. And while some might find that the opposite of romantic, I say fuck that and continue to tell the story of how we met. And if indeed we do get married and have the children we so desire, I will tell them the story too. I had told myself I would fall in love because college was going to be the next chapter in my life. And I didn't want to get bothered by anybody like many teenagers. My mind was filled with feelings, creativity, and sex. And trust me, sex occupied my brain a lot. And watching movies like American Pie, Euro Trip, and Jada Apatow Productions weren't helping me stop thinking about getting laid. So I thought college would be all about the education and the pussy. But then I met you, and I can firmly say I can't be any happier. Sure, we've had our issues. A lot of them, in fact. But we've managed to surpass them, and become a nine-year-plus couple looking forward to spending a life together. Trust can be an issue in any relationship. Just recently you've had a lot of stress on your shoulders, and you told me you needed someone to talk, so you relied to talk to someone who has feelings for you. Yes, I got jealous. What can you expect? Trust me, love. I've always trusted you, despite the distance between us right now. I still continue to trust you 100. But learning that you contacted this dude to have someone to talk to kind of hurt me. I felt a bit betrayed. But I was more disappointed in myself for not being there enough to be your shoulder to cry on. We've had this kind of issue in the past, especially in the beginning. Trust issues are a part of any relationship, whether one wants to admit it or not. You've been jealous of me, and I of you. There's no denying it. But I'm glad that we've managed to grow and understand that with the help of communication, we can't make this work. So we're always or at least most times, open about our problems inside the relationship and manage to talk things out before anything gets so out of hand they have to resort to such drastic measures. I have been a bellaco since I was 11. I would come home and pop one right before my parents came home and right before going to sleep. So when the time came in that we would become more trusting and loving of each other, I couldn't wait for us to finally have sex. We would play around, cuddling, kissing, even first basing. But we would never make it to home plate. Until that day close to the end of high school came. Fimo a tu casa and lost our innocence for a few minutes. Because we were scared shitless when we heard a creak from the door. Yes, we lost it that day. What many would call our purity. We were not children of the devil. And we continued doing so. To this day, we have yet to get married. But we continue to suck, fuck, and make love as if the day was about to end the very next day. I don't know about you, hon, but I certainly do not regret it. Your flesh is something I can't live without. There's a reason why I dedicate this stanza to it. And what you do with it, when we see each other naked, we become sex fiends and become freaks of the night. I couldn't have asked for a better partner in crime.